Sports. Let's go to CBS 2's Jessica Moore. She's outside the courthouse in Brooklyn. Jessica, let's go over the charges and what else you can tell us. You've been covering this since the start. Indeed, five weeks now, Dana. These two men were pillars of Jason Mizell's life. His godson, Carl Jordan Jr., his childhood friend of more than 20 years, Ronald Washington, now convicted of executing Jason Mizell over him cutting them out of a drug deal. It took the jury about three days of deliberations, eight men, four women. They were a very studious jury. They sent back about 16 juror questions. And when they read the verdict, the emotions inside that courtroom were palpable. Jordan's mother was there. She started screaming, that's my son. He didn't do it. They didn't listen to the testimony. Jordan actually addressed the gallery saying, I love you all. Ronald Washington addressed the gallery saying, quote, Y'all just killed two innocent people. The jury made it very clear this was not an easy decision for them. Halfway through deliberations, one juror asked to be excused, saying he was too connected to the case. The judge ultimately let an alternate in his place. But today, that verdict came down. Guilty on both defendants faced two counts. Murder while engaged in drug conspiracy and firearm-related murder involving cocaine. The maximum sentence, minimum sentence, is 20 years maximum is life in prison. We don't have a sentencing date, but one interesting thing, Dana, a Rule 29 motion is when a, uh, an attorney files a motion saying there isn't enough ground here for a conviction. We want an acquittal. The judge denied that motion, but she left room to revisit it. Attorneys have until Friday to resubmit arguments for that Rule 29 motion. But as of right now, Jordan and Washington convicted on all counts. All right, Jessica Moore live at the courthouse, federal courthouse in Brooklyn with word of the verdict. Jessica, thank you. This has been a CBS 2 special report. I'm Dana Tyler. We'll have more on CBS 2 at 5 and 6 and also streaming on CBS News New York.